Hi, everyone. If you can type in over on your questions, if you can hear me, that would be great. Just a real quick check in. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. And anybody who doesn't know me, I am Molly. I am the executive director here at the Residential Assisted Living National Association. And I am going to present to you Les Simpson with VIP Healthcare tonight. He's going to talk to you guys a little bit about your different healthcare options as a small business owner. Um, I know when I owned my own businesses, it was extremely difficult to figure out how to provide benefits and, and higher quality employees, right? So this is what we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about the nitty gritty and how we can get you guys the best healthcare possible for the situation that you're in. So Les, I'm going to have you take it away. Once again, if you guys have questions, just type them in over on the side. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> Let me get a drink here. Thank you uh, very much for attending. Um, the name of my company is VIP Healthcare. Uh, for you to sign up for this uh, on Rolna's website under healthcare, that's where we'll be doing the sign up. Tonight is education on why you should do it. And uh, if you have any questions for me, here is my email and uh, phone number. And the first thing we're going to do is take a poll. And that is how many of you presently have health insurance? Okay, it looks like 71%, um, and that's good. I'm glad to hear that, because a lot of your employees have pre-existing conditions, and uh, that's a problem if you don't have health insurance, and I'll explain why. But you, we're going to actually be able to possibly lower your health insurance costs at the same time uh, when you get much better health care. Uh, which is kind of an anomaly that you get better health care for lower insurance costs. But we'll explain how that happens. Now, the agenda tonight is going to be uh, these different items. First off, the main thing I want you to think about is for being able to lower your health care, your recruiting costs, and your retention cost, plan on spending $1.75 an hour in other words, lowering all these and transferring it to $1.75 an hour per employee. And I'm going to talk hey, to you. Les, yes. I don't know why. Um, for some reason, we can't see your slides. Um, oh. One second. I'm going to. Sorry, guys. I don't know why this happened real quick. But let's see. Let me change presenter back to. Um, can you look up in the right hand corner where it says show screen? Is your showing screen right now? Showing your main screen? Let's see, show screen. Sharing is green webcam. Um. Okay, one second. Let me take myself. I'm going to make myself presenter and then I will go back which all you all will see my, my home screen really quick. Sorry about that. Change presenter. And we'll go back to less. Make presenter. Okay. There we go. Sorry guys, okay. here we go. Back up and ready. Okay, good. Let me move this over here. 
I got you off your groove. Pardon me? I got you off of your groove. I made you stop, sorry. Oh, that's right, no problem. To repeat, um, what I'm gonna be talking to you tonight is about remove, reducing your healthcare cost, your recruiting cost, and your retention cost. And when we reduce that, you'll have a dollar seventy-five per hour that you can pay per employee, and you'll have a much better quality employee, more stable employees, and employees that actually refer you to other people to come work for you. That's the whole idea of this. And it will cost you a dollar seventy-five per hour, and you get it from these three. We're going to talk to you about a twenty-year-old system. This is not new. This is a group of doctors who have been doing it in Arizona for 20 years. And uh, we're gonna talk about the top three effective ways of recruiting. Now, if you're not for, familiar with who SHRM is, that's the Society of Human Resources Management. They're worldwide. Uh, tell companies how to help with recruiting. How to use Viva HR to hire more experienced and stable employees. Understanding the medical and hospital system works, and the next steps. Now, um, the what we're going to learn is how easy and affordable healthcare creates an unfair competitive advantage for your business. So people will want to come to work for you. You will be the employment destination. And uh, now, first off, back to Sherm. These numbers here, they did a national survey and they found that to hire a line person, uh, the median cost uh, or the 75% of the company spent $5,000. For an executive it was 18,000. So needless to say, if we can cut out a few of these and depends on how many line people and how many executives you're hiring, but if we could cut out 50% of them, then again, that's where that $1.75 an hour comes from. So I'm going to not increase your budget, but actually just transfer part of your budget. Next poll. All right, we're gonna try this out one more time. And if it goes away, then we'll probably just have to wing it for the polls next time. Here we okay. go, guys. Now, can they see the results of the poll? I can share it with them right here. Here you go. Okay, good. Because that's, uh, first off, I can see I have a very experienced group, and I'm glad to see this. That 74% of quality, stable employees come from referrals of your own employees. So, needless to say, we really have to make sure our employees want to refer us. And so we really have to have benefits that say, I want to work here. And as you can see, 16% are headhunters and 10% uh, says free job sites. Now, uh, what, uh, what you're going to find interesting is this next slide and where Sherm says all this comes from. First off, you're 100% right. Employee referrals are 90% of stable employees. Company website is second, and that one I don't get because I really don't know why people would really look it over, especially if the company doesn't have a good website. But the other two is free job boards. 
and paid job boards. Headhunters are way down there. And uh, uh, so the ones that had uh, paid job sites, uh, zero, uh, needless to say, uh, it's, it's the fourth. Uh, and uh, free job boards are 71. And uh, Viva HR is gonna help you with all those. To explain that one, this is a, whatever you do tonight, write down this link, www.tinyurl.com forward slash WTPVIBA. This will, when you sign up at Viva HR, you'll be able to check out their website and get your first 25 candidates free. Now, that those candidates come from 50 job boards, paid and free. And some of those jar, job boards charge you $200 uh, by themselves, each one. But because VBHR does such a monstrous volume with them, they get discounts. So write this down, because if you get nothing else from this website tonight, use their service, because you'll be able to go to all the job boards and pick out the most experienced and uh, stable employees. I also now, posted it in the chat for everyone, just so you guys know, I posted that URL in your chat. And uh, now we're gonna talk about the history. To, to give you a history of redirect health, they're the ones that provide uh, the primary care. And uh, to give you a history, a group of uh, Canadian doctors 20 years ago decided to move to uh, Arizona. And they set up their practices, uh, five or six different clinics, and they very quickly, they found how quickly or how hard it was to get money from American insurance companies. In fact, we'll go into that much more detail in a minute. And uh, so they first off decided that for the employees, uh, for the doctors that they had the employees see, they would you know, pay for their own health care. But there was a lot of different services they didn't have. So they actually went to neighboring doctors in town and offered them cash payments for their employees. And they did this for 13 years. And pretty soon a lot of the employers in Arizona said, hey, if you're doing this for your employees, can you do it for ours? And uh, so thousands of uh, employers came on and they developed this system, uh, which is cash payment to doctors. And I'll go into much more detail why that's so important in a minute. Um, and we're now in all 50 states. And uh, I'll tell you why that's so important in a few minutes. Because if you have employees uh, that are in another state now, um, you don't have truck drivers or anything like that, but if you have somebody vacationing and they're in another state, they can call up and we get them a doctor in the city they're in. Um, huge uh, network. And if you over here on the left, you'll notice Chubb Insurance, GoodRx, LabCorp. These are some ones that we partner with. Chubb is one that we do for indemnity insurance, and I'll explain that more in a minute. Now, the whole concept of this is to reduce healthcare costs, increase your ability to recruit, improve the retention of the ones you already have, and better workers' compensation. We do a lot of work with construction companies, and so I doubt if you have enough accidents uh, in your homes where we can actually reduce the workers' comp, uh, because we keep the accidents from happening, but you probably don't have enough that causes your rates to go up. If you do, we won't be able to help out on that. Now, everybody asks me, these new con concepts, are they new? Well, according to Google 900 business reviews, we have 4.7 out of five businesses that love us and have been going for quite a while. And so we just let Google talk for us. If you want to uh, look up Redirect Health, you can read the different reviews. Now, let's talk about healthcare itself. For the ones on the phone that have been in business in HR since 2001, you probably remember these health premiums for the entire four member family. They were doable. In fact, the company used to be paid 90% of it and had the employees pay 10% of it. By the time 2009 came around, needless to say, it doubled. 
And so now employers can't pay it all. They put 40% on the employees. And in 2018, sometimes it's uh, at least 50% on the employees. And now it's 28,530. Now, one of the things that kind of ask on a trick question here, and we're going to do a poll on it. And that is, why would, if you could pay the entire health insurance premium of your employees, why would that not be the complete solution? Poll. All right, Les, I have shared the results. Great. And uh, needless to say, as everybody can see, they're all over the board. And you've covered all the benefits of this program. But 76% uh, says the deductible and co-pays. That's money out of a person's pocket. Confusion of the medical, the medical system. Uh, needless to say, we need our hand, somebody to hold our hands to the mess. And I'll go into that. Doctors wanting to overcharge. I'm going to show you why they have to overcharge. Uh, doctors not available. Uh, again, I'm going to show you why that is. Uh, taking coverage where you go. Uh, yes, that's very important, especially on your vacation. And by the way, some of this coverage will cover you internationally. As long as you bring back a bill in American dollars and English, we'll pay it uh, over uh, $1,500. Uh, so this is a complete healthcare system. And this is one of the reasons I call it VIP healthcare, is when you would really treat your employees as a very important person, they're going to stay with you and they're going to bring other people into your business. And so, yes, the confusion of the medical system, we're going to go over that. And I mentioned we're going to cover all this. But the big one is deductibles and copays. And why is that? What does that actually look like in numbers? First off, because people, employers can't pay all the health care, there's 20 million people in America that's uninsured. But this might surprise you. The 75 million that can't afford to use their insurance, that they, they have health care. And uh, I should have, I had a poll on this, but I didn't. And that is, why do you think people can't afford to use their insurance? What happens when a person uses their insurance? They can't pay the deductible. They can't pay all the out-of-pocket pops. They can't pay and unless they have credit cards to put it on, which needless to say, as you can see here, three fourths of all medical bankruptcies have insurance because they can't afford. And employers, unfortunately, we put them in a very bad circumstance that once they use their health care, they go bankrupt. And that's what we're going to try to show you tonight as solution. Now, and we've all guessed it, out-of-pocket costs. Uh, that's the big problem with all healthcare. Now let's look at it. 
first off, there was a gentleman, and I live in Colorado, by the way, and there was a gentleman that went into an ER room in the mountains. And after he got all of his bills from out of network costs, by the way, he had a $5,000 deductible. After he got all the out of network costs, his bill was $19,000. He said, Les, it was like I bought a car and I couldn't even enjoy it. A gentleman went into an emergency room here in Denver, and by the time he got all of his out of network costs, it was $38,000. They said, Les, they didn't even admit me. Now, if you have employees, that end up having these type of bills, do you think they're gonna be on their mind just a little bit while they're working for you? And their mind is not going to be on work. These are the things we need to protect our employees from. Now, next poll. These employees of these groups, what do they have in common that would uh, deductibles and uh, what do they have in common? I'll leave that, the poll. All right, there's the results. And, and again, we have very experienced people here, I can see, because that is all the above. The uh, uh, very little knowledge of the care system, and so they're completely confused. Fear of confronting doctors, um, especially now if it's executives and so forth, the, the leaders of this, they, they ask their doctors what the heck's going on. The people that's receiving $20 an hour, they don't. They're scared to death that their doctor is going to um, not get them right or whatever. And unfortunately, that's our society. People under $20 an hour, and the reason that's really so important is because people under $20 an hour are living paycheck to paycheck. And so if they get a $5,000 bill, unless they have a credit card to put it on and $250 a month, they're, they're, they're done. It's time for the collection calls. And so, if especially if you have employees that have $20 an hour, then it's really time to help them. They count on you, uh, and uh, we are their source. And uh, so, we've covered that. Now, redirect health. In a nutshell, their idea is to lower healthcare costs and leverage that into hiring, retention, and lowering workers' comp costs. In fact, according to Sherm again, Recruiting difficulty has continued to increase over the last five years. Competition for talent is high. Now, this was before COVID, but let me explain something. I belong to the Colorado Restaurant Association, and one of the things they've told everybody on conference calls is for the restaurants that this is a hiccup and they're going to be able to come back in and not have to worry about it, for them to all their quality employees let them know now that they care and not just that they fact they still have their job because when the jobs open up all the top employees are going to have every offer you could possibly make and so when you have take care of your employees now then they stay with you in fact a recent report from sherm says that 50% uh, of employees say health benefits are a main reason to stay with the company. In fact, to retain your best employees, 
over 50% of millennials expect to leave their current job in the next three years. Now, again, that was before COVID. 56% um, say perks are the very important part when evaluating opportunities. You're going to have perks that no other company can match. In fact, a lot of our employers actually go to other companies and steal their employees because now they can offer them free healthcare. So how do we make healthcare affordable? And none of you have to worry about ACA compliance because I'm sure you don't have more than 50 employees. So we won't go into that. Or if you have over 20 employees and you have group insurance, then we'd be talking about uh, COBRA and 1099. But uh, I don't think I have very many online. If you are under C ACA compliance, this, this takes care of it. Um, now let's look at the healthcare system. Why the complexity is so terrible. First off, there's four levels. There's primary care, which includes physicals, chiro, pain, x-ray, immunizations. Then there's imaging, uh, the MRIs, the CAT scans. Then there's the hospital stay and seeing a specialist. And then there's cancer. Now, the first level we take care of, well, backing up, when we were talking before about people being completely confused by the healthcare system, and they need somebody to guide them through. At the present time, your employees are like this in reference to uh, if they have regular health insurance. They have health insurance, but they get sick. Where do I go? Uh, urgent care, uh, wait for their primary physician, uh, emergency room, where do I go? The first thing we do is take care of this. Now, we've been doing telemedicine for 20 years. Now that COVID-19 has come, a lot of companies do in telemedicine. Well, we do telemedicine 10 times more than anybody else. And what I mean by that is not the amount, but the, the extent of it. Um, all of our employees, uh, employers, employees, start off with a phone call uh, to Arizona and talk to our doctors. And first off, we get all their medical history, their prescription history, and we get their uh, verbal history. And then we determine if they need care. And uh, uh, what we found in 20 years, that 79% of the people only need a prescription. And so we send a prescription to their nearest pharmacy. The ones that go to emergency rooms and urgent care, 79% of them only need a prescription. And we send them to the nearest pharmacy and we have it set up where we have a thousand different uh, drugs at $50 or less. Um, and so it all starts with a phone call, 24 hours in Spanish or English and uh, complete navigation after that, which I'll get into. So that's where we start. Now, why, oh, uh, backing up here, 12% of the people actually need to see a doctor. So we ask them first off if they have a doctor. If they do, we're gonna call them up and send them on a cash situation. If they don't, we have many other employers that their employees have employ uh, doctors and we set them up with them. But everybody asks me, why would doctors sign up for this? Okay, that's what we're gonna go into. I was on a call, uh, Denver Medical Society, to a gentleman in uh, LA, and it shocked me. I knew part of this, I didn't know all of it. When a doctor submits a claim to an insurance company, 30% of their bills are never paid because what they call coding. In fact, there was a big article now, Kaiser has 80% of their bills have something wrong with it. Insurance companies uh, don't want to pay it. The, uh, uh, and so the doctors have to hire special staff to do coding. And then they have to wait 60 days for the money. And so between the staff and taking their time fighting the insurance company, the average primary doctor spends $99,000 a year to fight the insurance company. We pay them cash uh, the same day. So you can imagine when we call up a doctor and say, we're gonna pay you cash, 
Uh, and uh, when you go in, you pay your $35. It takes them 60 days to get the other $25, $30. And we pay them $75 the same day. So you can imagine how many hundreds of doctors are calling us monthly and asked to be on our cash system. Now let's talk about the care itself. For $105 a month or 61 cents an hour, that's what we're gonna start with, you get all of this care I'm gonna talk about. First off, care management. When you sign up all your employees, we're gonna call every single employee. We're going to find out if they have medical conditions, if they have diabetes, if they have cancer, if they have asthma, whatever it is, uh, support chronic and acute conditions. And then we're gonna call them once a month and find out how they're doing because they have free doctor visits. And that's what I'm gonna get into. Unlimited doctor visits and unlimited chiropractic visits uh, just by $105 a month per employee. And so we're going to set up a treatment plan and we're gonna keep your employees healthy. Now, my question is, if your employees know you're taking care of them this way, when they're talking to their friends that work for somebody else, you now have them inviting them over for your, to be your employee. Next, case management, uh, position to position. Once we send somebody to their doctor who we signed up, our doctors call the doctor and find out what they found out, see if they need to see a specialist, and then we call and set all their appointments. So they have somebody holding their hand all the way through the medical system. And we, by the way, negotiate prices all the way through the medical system because we're gonna pay cash. Uh, prescription saving plans up to 80%. Uh, eliminating a uh, cost of eliminating office visits because again 79 percent of them don't need an office visit they just need prescription and uh, uh, if they uh, have these special needs we check with all the state and federal programs uh, if they have medical bills and we get them on it and we do all this for the same amount unlimited primary care visits unlimited chiropractic open network see any doctor any hospital Zero co-pays are deductible, and labs are covered through National Lab Corporation. Now, all that you pay $61 per employee. You're gonna find through this that a lot of our employers pay for the entire family. Uh, so you might wanna think about that, it, especially for your supervisors and your house managers. So this is what they get for that. Zero copay, no deductible, labs paid for. Present preventive adult care, preventive child care, everything, zero pay, no deductible. Okay, so now we've taken care of primary care. Next is imaging and the specialists. So the next thing is hospitalization and urgent care. Now, first off, um, if that person needed, let's say uh, they call us up, they've fallen down and they think they broke their arm. Uh, we're not gonna send them to the hospital for the $1,000 x-ray. We're gonna send them to an offsite um, lab uh, x-ray and pay $40 for it, $960 savings, uh, keeping them out of the hospital system until they need it and paying cash. Now, to give you some idea of negotiations, what happens? We had one of our employees that, uh, the hospital charging $6,000 for an MRI. We called them up and first off said, we're not an insurance company. We're gonna pay you today with a credit card. And we're also going to give, send you more clients. How much is that our MRI? Well, we can give it to you for $600. Kidney transplant, we're going 146, we can get it for 36, cash. They don't have to wait for insurance companies. And uh, so the next area is what we've just talked about, hospitalization, critical illness, accident, and so forth, uh, the non-primary care. What we do there is what we call indemnity insurance. Now, to give you an idea, if you don't know what indemnity insurance is, everybody, most people know what AFLAC is. And I hope you know, if you don't, then I, you'll, you can ask that question at the end. But AFLAC is indemnity insurance. What that means is once you go in the hospital, they pay you. 
Well, for 135, including that 105 uh, for the primary care, for 135, we will pay five days in the hospital at 250. Accident, if you have an accident, you get 2,000. By the way, this is annual. Uh, that uh, that uh, MRI, we pay $600. Critical illness. Now, all of these have no pre existing conditions as long as you have 10 or more employees. If you have less than that, then there's a waiting period uh, for uh, hospital and not accident, but uh, hospital, there's a year waiting. Uh, we look at the back six months and we won't pay it for a year if you have previous hospital problems. Uh, total $4,850. Now, this is for different levels. Uh, this you might want to look at, for instance, uh, for your supervisors instead of 135 a month, 305. And this is if you have, uh, this is the employee and all the way to the family. Like I said, a lot of employers pay for the family. And so instead of $96 per employee, they're paying for the entire family for 235 for their supervisors and their house managers. And uh, this goes different levels. So now we've taken care of hospital and imaging. All that's left is cancer, prescriptions, and so forth. We do that with what we call health share. Now, what that consists of is you're paying, a, if you're 30 to 64, you're paying in $143 a month for an employee, 424 for the family. And it goes into a pool. And uh, the max that comes out of your pocket is $1,500 per major medical condition and uh, then they pay the rest. But remember, if it was an accident, you've already had $2,000. If it was a hospital stay, you have $250 a day. So a lot of times you don't even end up having to pay that $1,500. We've already paid your cash. Now, this is where we really suggest, and I've not suggested at all, you drop your health insurance. The reason, there's pre-existing conditions on this. All any health conditions your employees presently have or taking medication for, there's pre existing times. The first year we pay no money, <clears throat> but we still negotiate, we still set appointments, we still make sure they're getting the top care. The second year we'll put 25,000 into it and available with all the same. The third year is 50,000 available with all the above. And the beginning of the fourth year, everything's covered. Now, the difference, if you have a person's 50 plus and they're a smoker, will pay a maximum of 25,000 for cancer, COB, PD, stroke, or heart. And we still do all the care management even for this. We just don't put cash over more than 25,000. But remember, with us negotiating, 25,000 is almost a kidney transplant. So this is the totals, the 175 per hour, all the coverage I just mentioned per employee is $278 a month. For their family, $799 or $499 an hour for the family. Now, this is why if you have present health insurance, we, don't, we do not suggest you drop it. In fact, we're gonna negotiate with them. Their present premiums can be reduced. Now to explain that, group health insurance, every year you negotiate them for premiums because they tell you how much money they've paid out for your employees. Well, all the things above, remember you have free, um, the uh, free primary care and the indemnity insurance for the hospitals. So these people have paid out very little. So at the annual, you negotiate and say, hey, you haven't paid on anything. It's time to drop our premiums. And they can't say no. If they do, take it to the state because you haven't used their uh, money. Now, we can reduce premiums immediately with the higher deductible. And the reason for that, again, is you're getting all the money up front. This is why I've emphasized all the way through it. We're adding $1.75 an hour. And the way we're doing that is reducing your health care recruiting retention cost. Now, the so we've covered it all. We've covered the entire premium. 
we've covered the out-of-pocket costs. Now, what's your benefit? Recruiting. First off, you get two times the increase in job candidates. All your employees can now stay well. Anytime they have a problem, they call our 800 number. And if they need a prescription, it's there. If they need to see a doctor, we set the appointment. All healthcare, uh, primary care is free. And the indemnity care for hospital and so forth. So your employees get to stay healthy. We have massive pipeline of candidates because now your employees are referring other people. Well, they, hopefully they'll need something like the conversation, maybe they're gonna be hiring next summer. Get on the list. Uh, you stand out from your competition. Now, these are some actual numbers. These are large companies that uh, before they had our program, they recruited over eight weeks, like a medical assistant. They got four candidates once they had our system and they offered their entire family health care. They got 534 candidates. Now, I think you'll agree with me that 534 candidates they probably have more stable and experienced employees to choose from. And you don't have to do all this by yourself. You don't have to try to sell people on it. Because remember, employee referrals, your employees going to sell it, but your free job boards, your paid job boards are going to be handled by Viva HR. They actually go out to the websites and sell free healthcare on 50 different job boards, free and paid. So again, no matter what, write down this link. Because even if you don't do anything with us, you can go and get your first 25 candidates from all these job boards free. And after that, pay $75 a month. Uh, now, if you have many locations, it's more than that, but the website will explain that. So we now take part of the 40, 5,000 to hire a line person or the 18,000 to hire your supervisor and apply it to healthcare. So summary, by adding 175 per hour per employee, you could reduce your healthcare, recruiting and retention. And you've already seen the top three ways that uh, society for uh, Human Resources Management says to get the top employees, and you've already agreed with that. Utilize Viva HR to hire more stable, experienced people. Next steps. First off, to join our family of very happy employers. Uh, and we're coming uh, to the end, so if you have any questions, please start typing them in in the uh, chat box, and we'll cover those in a minute. So to create a healthcare plan, what we do to specifically meet your business needs. The way we do that is we're going to take a census of, of everybody. You're going to determine how much you pay of the cost or how much the employee does. And if you want your supervisors or house managers to have higher coverage, you can discriminate as long as it's a different job description. And then we do all that. And as long as we have all that, and your first month's uh, uh, premium draft, by the 19th of the month, we start the coverage the first of the next month. And no, you do not have to wait till annually. We can start you at any time. And uh, uh, for the people that want to think about dropping health insurance, I really don't suggest it. But if, if I've been asked all the time, well, isn't there's an annual contract and you can't drop it anyway? If you read it, you'll find out it's an annual guaranteed premium. It has nothing to do with dropping the policy, but I don't recommend it for your pre-existing uh, conditions. Questions? All right, so here we go. What about people over age 64? Uh, we will cover them up to 65, and then they go on Medicare. That makes sense. Look at that. All right. The next one is, how does this differ if your business is an online business only? Uh, as long as you have W-2 employees, it doesn't. 
clarify your question in reference to online because I'm not sure I'm getting the question correct. It, it sounds if, like yeah. it sounds like it's just her. So what about if you just have one employee? You're the only W to yourself employed. Oh, this, okay. The actually uh, we have individual care. You can go to the Rolna website and sign up as an individual, and your costs are about 15% more. A uh, group of five or more have a lower uh, amount, and uh, for the indemnity care, if you have 10 or more, you don't have any pre existing conditions on a bunch of that. But if you're an individual, you can go to the Rolna website at uh, premium members, you have to be a premium member, and then uh, sign up as an individual. Uh, and so also what about 1099 employees i know we've talked a lot about w-2s but what can they do if they have 1099 employees uh the send them uh first off send them us as an individual and a lot of companies bonus them uh if they want to help pay for their health care they just give them an extra uh 200 a month for their contract and so they're they are paying taxes on it but uh they want to help them and so they give them a little bit extra money to pay for it, but they send them to us as an individual. All right, the next one says, what about local networks of physicians? Do you have those listed? Uh, the, uh, no, we don't have them listed, uh, but uh, we, if, if you don't have a doc, if you have a doctor, uh, when you, we sign up your, your company, we're going to have every one of your employees introduce us to their doctor and we're going to set them up on a cash system if they do not have a doctor then we have other doctors of companies like uh, yours that we've set up other primary physicians but any doctor you want to uh, nominate one we will call them and set them up on cash they don't have to be your doctor perfect and and so this is a good one so he's saying i assume you cover san antonio texas but are you guys national i guess that's a good question yes okay. uh all across the united states and that's one of the things if you know any trucking companies for instance uh, uh the um they love us because when their drivers let's say they're based in texas when their drivers are in new york city they can call us 24 hours a day or we can get them in to see a doctor in new york city uh, so yes, and we're also worldwide. If you uh, are in another country and you have health problems, as long as you bring back a bill in English and doctors, uh, 1500 comes out of your pocket. And so this is a similar question. So does this work in small towns with little competition between doctors and only one hospital? Uh, yeah, again, we will, uh, the, the competition is not needed. It's the fact they hate the insurance company that takes 60 days to get money from. And plus- Yeah, it's basically the same as cash, right? You guys are basically saying, hey, day of, we make the appointment, day of, you'll get paid. So they like yeah. that. Yeah, and for the specialists, we pay them within 14 or 30 uh, days. They're waiting. First off, they're fighting in the insurance company. 70% of their bills is all they ever get paid. And so there is no fighting with us. Uh, we've already negotiated, uh, called them and told them what they're going to get, and they don't have to fight for anything. Uh, doctors love us. Can you put your contact information up again, just that first slide real quick? Perfect, there's that. Also, this next question says, how is the deductible affected by multiple claims? Um, for each, um, Okay, first off, for uh, let me go back here. For this money, there is no, uh, let's see, where am I here? For the indemnity insurance, uh, there is no deductible. Like for instance, for the hospital, as long as you don't have uh, any uh, pre-existing condition of the last six months, you go to the hospital to pay you $250 for the first, uh, uh, five days. So there's no pre-existing conditions. The only uh, uh, pre-existing conditions are on the, um, I actually forgot the question, repeat it please. I'm sorry, one more time. Yeah. 
Oh, so we're, we're talking about deductibles. How would the deductible be, be uh, oh, affected okay. by multiple claims? So sorry. Uh, this money usually here pays the deductible, but the only deductible is this here, uh, which I'm going to show you. And that is, let me see, I'm ahead of myself. Here, the 1500, what we call initial uh, unshared amount. Uh, this is per medical, con major medical condition uh, per year, up to three for an employee or five for a family. Uh, but again, uh, each member of the family has had the indemnity insurance because you usually don't end up paying it, if that makes sense. Perfect. And is there anyone you guys won't or can't insure? I no, but the part of their body that has pre-existing conditions. Uh, again, these are the pre-existing conditions. Uh, the the part of their body, and again, it's not their whole body, but for instance, if they had uh, uh, a messed up back, uh, the first year we won't cover it. The second year we'll cover twenty five thousand. The third year fifty thousand. But it's only that part of their body. The doctors really, really believe in non-exclusion. And so if you fell down and hurt your head and you also have cancer, we're going to cover the head. We're just not going to cover the cancer for the first years, if that makes sense. Perfect. Um, the next question says, do you offer incentives for referrals? Uh, the, the only way I can do that is if it's a large group and then uh, uh, the, uh, especially nonprofits, I can legally do it, uh, but at the same time, if it's a large group of 100 or more employees, uh, we, we can work something out, but it's a very small amount, like a dollar per employee. Perfect, and we're, then- We're under, we're under if, regulations. If, you, if you're using a holistic doctor, would they be covered? Uh, yeah, when we call them uh, now, if they're doing insurance now, uh, then uh, if they're not, uh, then we're just going to add in, uh, the uh, um, business to them. And a lot of holistic doctors want it that because a lot of doctors are trying to get off insurance. And so we are the answer. In fact, what we do for the doctor to let you know, first off, uh, we're going to have marketing material in their office. And so the doctor gets to hand out marketing material to their present patients to turn them into cash pay pay patients. Plus, they know companies that want to get out of uh, the high cost of health insurance. So they refer them and we sign them up and we send them to their doctor. Everybody wins, the doctors yeah. the patients, and the companies. Yeah, it sounds great. So um, the next question says, those premiums that you listed, are they what the employee pay, the employee pays or the employer? Uh, it's up to the employer how much they pay and how much they want their employees pay. Uh, when you're offering free health care through Viva HR, a lot of employers pay it all, but it's strictly up to you. You can have can your employees you, pay it all. Because for can that, can you amount, switch back to your to your contact? Uh, oh, and then last question I have here says, do you see any future changes in healthcare after COVID? And if so, what do you think will change? Well, according to the news, they figure it's going to go up 10 to 15% to try to make up for all the free uh, COVID-19 care they gave out. All right. Well, it looks like that's the end of our questions, unless anyone else has anything to contribute here. So you have been extremely educational tonight, Les, and I will send everyone else um, a recording of this tomorrow, as well as Les contact, Les's contact information. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can reach out to him directly. You can reach out to me and I can get you in contact with him. So no worries. We'll get you this information if you need it. To let everybody know, as of tomorrow, I'll be out of town until the second. I'm going to my grandson's graduation. They're actually going to have a live one in Michigan. 
So uh, feel free to email me, but as far as me getting back and so forth, uh, it won't be until the second. Great. Sounds good. And you stay safe while you're gone. Everybody else, you stay safe as well. And once again, I will share um, this recording. And then Les, can you send me your slides so I can share them, the actual slides too? Um, yeah, probably I can do that. Okay, perfect. Then I will see you guys at the next one. Thank you so much, Les. Yep.